am Shelly LeVette with ChildCareLand.com and today I want to share with you how to make your own rain gauge. This is a lot of fun for children to do and it's kind of neat to see how much rain um, actually does fall. So when you know it's going to rain you can set these outside on a rainy day and um, by the end of the day or the next day you can bring it in and children can see um, how much rain there was in their rain gauge. The materials you need to the, for this is not very much. You just need to have an empty water bottle, a ruler, a uh, marker or permanent marker, scissors, tape, and also something sharp to um, start the bottle with a, a hole in it that children can cut around depending upon their age or yourself if you're going to cut the tops off if you have really small children. Um, this is just my husband's Swiss Army knife, but you can use whatever sharp object you would like, a box cutter or a different kind of a knife to get the, the hole started. If you just try with scissors, it's a little bit difficult on these plastic bottles. So I'm just going to explain this to you a little bit. This is the rain gauge itself and it's just the bottle um, cut and I'll show you how to do that and then the top's inverted into the bottle itself to make a funnel. So this is the rain that we, we had today and we put markings on here before we set it out and again the top of the bottle that we cut off is turned inside out or put down into the bottom of the bottle and then it's taped around to hold it. These are not going to be the most accurate rain gauges simply because they're not, you know, true true rain gauges. They're um, not straight up and down. They're curvy and they kind of bend out a little bit. But they're good enough um, for children to get the general idea and to learn some measuring skills at this age. So to begin this project, you would take just your water bottle. And you can decide how tall, how small you want your bottle to be. What I do is I usually um, remove the label and then right where the bottom where the label had ended is where I cut. So I just puncture a little hole into it and I start down here. Now if you have children who are able to cut, um, this is, you know, you want to start the hole right here and then they can pick up where the scissors or where the hole is. They can put their scissors in and cut all the way around the bottle. If not, if you have smaller children, you can make your knife go all the way around if you want, or you can take your scissors and just cut after you've punctured the initial hole into it. And sometimes it's not very even, but that's all right. But this one's not going to be very even. And so you would do that. And then I, I cut off a little bit of the top half. Okay, so this would be the base for your rain gauge and then I cut off um, about three lines of the top part of your bottle here. It's a little more difficult to puncture. But it can be done. There we go. And again you can make these uh, whatever size you want that you feel is going to work for your class. Your class. I don't like to have the funnel part so big and so low hanging down. I think that's a little bit distracting for when you're trying to measure. But then you can just set it in like that and then you would tape it around. The tape around the bottle. And you want to make sure your bottle is dry. This one's kind of wet. So I don't know if it's going to tape too good. Just like so. And you would tape all the way around just to hold it in place. And another thing you can do that's kind of fun is you can set your rain gauges in different parts of the outside. Like instead of having them all together, have children so select different areas where they want to put theirs. And of course you write their name on them on the bottom of these. Okay, so we have the um, inside down here so the front of the water in. Then again, depending upon the age, you want to take a ruler and make markings on here. I just did uh, half inches on here. So we took a marker and for every half inch we drew a line and then I marked on there um, one, one inch, two inch, and three inch on here for that. So you don't want it to be too complicated. The idea is just um, to sit, let children see that the amount of rain and it doesn't have to get um, too specific. But it's a really cool activity. It's fun for science for children to collect the rain. And you can look at the color. You can look to see if there's anything floating in it. There's all kinds of things you can do with this activity. For How to Make a Rain Gauge, I'm Shelly LeVette with ChildCareLand.com. And thanks for watching.